Hi, so I'm here with Chris Cage at Nomad Summit on the 20th of January. Uh, Chris, what's your talk going to be about? Uh, first of all, I'm the founder of a company called Green Belly. So I'm going to be talking about how I started Green Belly from my mom's kitchen. I totally bootstrapped it and I've uh, been running it all over the world since I started a couple years ago. So I'm going to talk about getting that off the ground. I'm also going to talk about the two growth strategies I used to get it off the ground, which were content. Content marketing has been big for us. And the other one is PR, PR outreach, and how to get big media outlets. Is there anything uh, about your talk that's, uh, that makes it different? I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hiked the Appalachian Trail, which is um, a 2,000 mile long trail from Georgia to Maine in the United States, and that takes six months to hike. And that was pretty much the, uh, the inspiration behind starting the business. So. I don't think many people have actually hiked the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So, did you have the idea for the business before the trail, and that kind of brought it together, or did it, you know, were you inspired by being on the trail to have this, uh, you know, this idea? Definitely the latter. Um, yeah, I had I, I was an accountant. I quit my accounting job, hiked the Appalachian Trail, and then had the idea to start a business mm. from the Appalachian Trail. Right. And do I remember you from the Joe Rogan podcast? <laughs> were you on there? I was. I, oh, was wow, on the, okay. I was on the Joe Rogan I podcast. Thought, yeah, I remember your story. It was uh, a great podcast. Yeah, a few yeah. months ago, I was on the Joe Rogan podcast. How was that experience? It was awesome. Joe Rogan's a really, really down-to-earth, humble guy. He's a cool guy. I was definitely a little nervous. I didn't know how big his audience was, I think, until, I was, actually, <laughs> until I was actually on the podcast. But yeah. it was great. And, it, and it, was good. it was good for business, too. It gave us a lot yeah. of exposure. Um, not to mention it was just fun talking to Joe. Joe's yeah, yeah. a cool guy. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool. And um, is there anything that you know you specifically want people to take away from your talk that they might not have known beforehand? Hopefully, you have a little bit of inspiration um, in starting off from somewhere, trying to get some ideas on how to actually grow your business, but also get some tax, you know, tips and tactics on how to um, do content and you know grow some traffic for your website. I think that's been big for us is using um, content marketing to get a lot of traffic to our website. So hopefully, somebody attending the conference could you know get some ideas on how to get some traffic to your own website sounds amazing and um, between now and the actual talk is there uh, anywhere that people can find out more about you maybe learn a bit about your background before the talk itself sure uh, websites greenbelly.co uh, there's an about us page on there um, of course my email is chris at greenbellybar.com if anybody wants to shoot me a note and have any questions but um, otherwise greenbelly.co is our is our site amazing really looking forward to this talk. Sounds thanks, great. Thanks. Um, are there any other talks or speakers you're particularly looking forward to seeing at the conference? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about every speaker, honestly. I think we've got a wide um, wide array of, of different talks. I'm looking forward to seeing them all. Great. Well, thanks for coming and uh, look forward to the talk. Thank you. <laughs>